Hello everyone, this is Legion here holding a banana in my hand whilst that is not relevant. Let's get straight to the commentary. And uh, today I want to talk to you about um, what is the best, or you could say, sweaty formations for FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, I've got three formations which I will talk about as well as showing you on the video. And uh, I, won't, I won't spend too long on this video because you'll probably get better things to do like watching uh, porno or Teletubbies. I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's kick it off. And I'm going to show you. Uh, the sweaty bastard formation, I like to call it the common nonsense, and the calm the fuck down formation. So, kicking it off with the common nonsense is the 41212 formation, also known as a diamond. And everyone, well, at least, well, not everyone, well, at least uh, 50 to 60 percent of the time I go over to matches, my opponent's always playing this position as it's the most popular to any other. Now, the 41212 is really good at counter attacking, as usually, because you know, the, you know, the wingers obviously they're going to break as being at, and also being as you have the two strikers in the cam the cam is also involved in this formation to give you support to both wingers as well as both strikers and it's basically it's like reverse the same you know it's reverse as in defense like you got the extra support from the center defender mid so equally it's a good balance formation but being as the most popular it's probably one of the most best formations it does come up uh, come up as a hefty price so you probably have to sell like your arm or your leg or I don't know, do uh, sell drugs, I don't know, but, uh, but this formation is kind of expensive, but it's really good formation, and that's why I call it the common nonsense, uh, I don't know why I call it nonsense for it, but uh, you get the gist. Uh, moving on to uh, calm the fuck down formation, which is the 3-5-2, and the reason why I call it that personally is, midfield wise, you can be in control completely, dominate the midfield as, you know, much as you want, and push your men up to a balls deep in, in your face basically attacking game position and basically it's in real life as well real footballers play mainly in the midfield so having that extra man a five man it does certainly help being as you feel more control and um, it does depend on what actual players you have as well uh, you know some players do close down other players a lot more quicker and if they do that then overall you're gonna have a sense of feel more secure in the midfield and certainly it's gonna feel like you can score more if that makes sense which is basically a good morale boost for you, I guess. Hey, to be. But uh, yeah, so this this basically this formation is really good attacking wise. But the only disadvantage I can give this is the unexpected counter attacks from your opposing teams, and which I've been caught out many times. Now, if they was to break through your five man hog fest position, it is much easier for them to score past. You know, get past three defenders, you know, rather than most commonly four defenders, like a solid back four. And you know the three defenders are two centre backs, and I think the one in the middle is called a sweeper. I'm not too sure, but um, overall, attacking wise, it's got to be at least an eight or a nine out of ten. But defensively, in my own personal opinion, by the way, I'll give it about a six or a seven because I always struggle um, on the counter attacks, and it just makes me upset, man. Oh, God damn it! But uh, yeah. That's probably because I'm bollocks at the game. All right, let's move on to my last formation, and I want to keep this video at least three to four minutes long because, like I said uh, before, but uh, the last formation which I personally use a lot. Oh, what well, I use a lot now is four, three, one, two, but that's not relevant to this video. Uh, the last formation is a five, two, two, one, or I like to call it parking the bus. Now, this formation is mainly used in my experience defensive play and counter attacks. That's the only two things I can actually give this formation. Being as you've got two defensive midfielders, you've got two normal midfielders, so really it isn't much of an attacking side. So, the best chance for anyone who wants to use this formation is let your opponents do pointless passing, completely hogging the ball at least 60-70%, and you know, yeah, basically let them hogging, hog the ball, you know, like a famous curry. I don't know what, what am I about there, but uh, yeah, so eventually when they lose a the ball. You know, if you've got a pacey left wing back and a right wing back, they can go on a mission and run their little legs off and hope for the best. Which is why I always have the likes of Paul Walker, like he's British, plays with Tottenham, I think it is, Kone and Sturridge. Well, I have Kone and Sturridge up front. But, uh, you know, they're just some of the people I play with that are just completely beast. They're really pacey on the wings, and it does certainly help going on the, the counter attack, because, you know, counter attacks most of the time can you know, get goals passed. But uh, it's a really good formation, and like I said, Park and the Bast, it is a game by the way, so they can have like at least in 10 shots out of like 30 yards out, they'll probably score at least one, got to. It's not like a Chelsea match in Champions League, where they just park the bus against Barcelona, but that's a different story. Anyways, great formations I guess, but it does depend on which players you buy also to suit whatever formation. 
they put him in because I did play with Valencia for Manchester United on the 5 2 2 1 formation on the right wing back, and it just didn't suit uh, me for him. You know, I prefer Paul Walker, but I think that's his name anyway. Sounds like that guy off Fast and Furious, but uh, yeah. But more importantly, it's definitely down to you and to find your best formation, what style you like to play, and once you've all got that figured out, you should be a beast and score some sweaty goals like I fucking do. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. It is a 4 1 2 1 2, a 3 5 2, and a 4, no, a 5 2 2 1. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Tell me what's your best formation. Uh, tell me if you're a sweaty player like I am. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I'll see you for three years' time. I don't know. When I'm on a period. But uh, yeah, peace out, everyone. Hey, guys, my name's Legion. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, YouTube, and subscribe. Bye!